I'm Mr. Brijesh Agarwal, Hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 2 in Environmental Science in GATE 2022. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, Brijesh, we are very much delighted about your rank here. And you tell us how you are affiliated to ACE Academy. What coaching program that you have taken from ACE Academy? Sir, I have taken uh, online test series uh, in civil engineering. Okay. Online test series in civil engineering. Okay, fine. Uh, you tell us uh, yes, how sir. this ES Academy online test series in civil engineering helped you in cracking this gate exam in environmental science and securing this uh, second rank. So first of all, uh, there were uh, quite a sufficient number of tests in the test series, which helped me to uh, keep up with my preparation and uh, practice. And moreover, the uh, there was no compromise on the quality of questions. That also helped me. Okay, that's fine. But if you compare this to civil engineering and environmental sciences syllabus, I think in environmental science there is some extra syllabus yes, on environmental science, is it compared to civil engineering? Yes, sir. So how sir, do you it, it is, uh, of the syllabus? Sir, uh, I have done my master's in environmental engineering. That also helped me uh, to cover, cover up the extra syllabus, in, in, in particularly environmental engineering. Okay, very good. Uh, can you brief that extra syllabus, Mr. Brijesh? Sir, uh, apart from the wastewater, sir, apart from the wastewater engineering and uh, water supply engineering, uh, there is particularly solid waste management and air pollution and noise pollution as well. And uh, in addition to that, there is uh, an environmental microbiology that is extra in the syllabus. Okay, that's fine. Achha, you said that you are already uh, masters in the environment engineering. Yes, sir. Okay, when did you pass out, to Mr. Bridges? BTEC. In 2020, sir, I did my BTEC in 2019 from Punjab Engineering College, and from same college I completed my masters in 2021. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Bridges, one interesting point that comes to my mind is, uh, so having done your master's in environment engineering, what prompted to again choose this environmental science in the gate exam? Why do you want to uh, uh, appear this gate exam with this uh, environmental paper? Any reason for that? Uh, mainly, uh, if I get a chance to be uh, appearing for one of the PSU's interview, that was the primary aim for appearing again. And uh, uh, who knows what opportunity may come that one can avail. Okay, that's fine. We understand, Mr. Bijesh. The main intention is uh, to try for some PSUs right, with this environmental science. Yes, okay. Uh, can you tell those PSUs which offer jobs based on the environmental science? Sir, uh, there is one B, uh, BIS, Bureau of Indian Standards, and uh, PSUs like ONG. Yes. Yeah, started moving through this paper. BIS is there, ONGC is there, and also I think uh, Coal India Limited also is right. Sir, I'm Coal not India is also there that. that offer some jobs on the environmental science paper. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, right. Very good. Uh, so, yes. did you uh, take uh, get a civil engineering exam also? Yes, sir. Okay. What was your rank in civil engineering exam? Sir, 141. 141 in civil engineering, civil, civil engineering branch. Yes, sir. Uh, then yes, I should, sir. Um, I mean, uh, then you deserve double congratulations. 141 rank in engineering paper and uh, second rank in environmental science paper. Thank you, sir. Good, good. So you will be trying mostly PSC jobs with your. Uh, yes, sir. Rank, right. Uh, that's fine, uh, Mr. Brijesh. Brijesh, this year you have taken both papers, right? And uh, yes, you got sir. good ranks also. Uh, what is your uh, observation with regard to the difference between the civil engineering paper as well as environmental science paper in the gate examination? Sir, if we talk about uh, that the environmental science paper is in more depth uh, in the particular subject of environmental engineering, but keeping the basics uh, to the level that to the level of the gate exam, uh, it is not a much of a problem to secure good ranks in both the papers. So, so uh, I think that if uh, the basics of uh, building as well uh, up to the mark, there should be no problem in securing good rank. Okay. Relatively, 
uh, you said that in few topics of environmental science, environmental science there were some good standard questions isn't it yeah. yes sir yeah any other comparison regarding the nature of the questions problem oriented or the theory? I, I heard that in environmental science some questions are uh, somewhat uh, theoretical sir uh, the theoretical questions the theoretical questions were sir mostly from the uh, acts like ngt act and solid waste management rules and uh, the environmental impact assessment notifications uh, otherwise there were also numerical that were from environmental engineering that we also study in btech okay the theoretical questions were from uh, those acts okay right now how could you arrange a material for the reference of those type of acts what you have mentioned sir particularly what i have studied in my uh, mtech only that all that only helped me i didn't uh, go for much uh, into much depth into those topics uh, the knowledge that i gained in uh, mtech was sufficient enough to solve those problems okay that's fine i understand brijesh see for example you see this uh, ngt what you are saying that right ngt yes, and sir. eia etc in you know, a yes, in your mtech also you might have offered some test books is it Sir, mostly they used to practice uh, from the notification itself. That EIA notification of uh, 2020, it is the latest one, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, the acts itself were, uh, uh, provide a good amount of knowledge, rather than going for test textbooks. Okay, right. That is with regard to the EIA. Yes, sir. Apart from this uh, EIA notification, etc. What are the extra topics uh, on which you could gather materials? Can you elaborate? Because many students ask that particular doubt, in fact. Sir, uh, particularly uh, like uh, EIA notification, we also have SWM rules of 2016 available on CPCB website. And uh, NG, I, I, I have not studied about NGT Act. I have studied, I have seen the SWM rules and EIA notification only. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. So that was out of the box questions. Okay. Okay, and fine. Uh, anything, uh, what is the source? You, you said that, uh, um, can you get that material from the open web source? Yes, sir, yes, sir. CPCB website, uh, okay. we can get the uh, both the things. CPB means? Uh, CPCB, sir, Central Pollution Control Board. We can get SWM rules and uh, EI, EI notification we can get from mini, uh, ministry website. So you mean to say that, that, that is, is it sufficient for the gate examination? Yes, sir. That extra topics are sufficient. Yes, sir. Uh, any extra topic further apart from these two? No, sir. Uh, these are the only topics. Rest, uh, sir, uh, only uh, the environmental engineering that we study in civil engineering is sufficient. So, rest yeah. of the syllabus, whatever that you study in civil engineering, that is sufficient. Yes, sir. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Priyash, did you prepare any short notes for all this extra content? Sir, uh, for, uh, for the extra topics that I have mentioned, I have not prepared the short notes for them. For them, I have uh, underlined the important topics in the notification itself. And for uh, for the civil engineering, that the environmental engineering that was studying uh, civil engineering, I have prepared short notes for them because they are a little bit numerical portion of the syllabus. So I have prepared short notes for them. Okay, that's fine, Bridges. Uh... Uh, you yes. must have taken gate exam earlier also, I think maybe 2020 or so before joining MTech. Yes, sir. Yes, what sir. was the gate rank during that time? Sir, uh, when I took admission in master's, that time I had secured 2700 rank in civil engineering. Okay. At so that time, environmental at that time environmental engineering uh, paper was not being conducted by gate. Yeah, that it was not there, right? It was started yes, actually sir. last year only, 2021 yes, onwards. Yes, sir. Okay. So in 2020, you had a rank of 2,700 in the civil engineering, and this time you got yes. a rank of 149, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what are the different change that you have made in preparation, Mr. Brijesh? Two years back, sir, your rank was uh, 2,700. This time it was 149. While yes, studying sir. MTech, how could you get the time to prepare for this, uh, what you call the two papers, and what modification that you have carried out in preparation? Can you elaborate a few points about this? Sir, uh, the first time I appeared in GATE, uh, the major drawback was that I didn't prepare all of the subjects. Uh, I was keen at some of the subjects, but I hadn't even touched uh, other of the subjects and neither practiced their problems. 
uh, either from previous year or uh, in regular college also so uh, firstly i tried to cover the entire syllabus uh, that uh, that i hadn't even touched upon in the in my first attempt and uh, uh, sooner or later i also uh, pr- practiced the problems from the same subjects that helped me a lot uh, in improving my rank and moreover you might have also got some extra time for a thorough re- more number of revisions isn't it yes yes okay and did you prepare any short notes also for other subjects yes sir for uh, almost all of the subjects i prepared the short notes so that i can revise just before the exam so you used to revise the uh, short notes for your quick revision yes part. sir okay and what about the role of this previous year's question bank as well as the test series in this examination sir uh, the role of uh, previous year questions uh, is quite significant as uh, it helps to uh, be familiar with the actual problems uh, that uh, come in the gate exam and test series helps uh, to maintain the consistency of the uh, consistency of practicing the problems uh, and uh, moreover they have some new problems also that help us to uh, improve upon our concepts okay right so what is your comment on our yes uh, online test series right you have taken the ceiling yes sir you got good rank also there yes sir sir the test series was quite good and comprehensive in its uh, all aspects uh, talking about the number of tests there are a uh, huge number of tests uh, that one can attempt and uh, maintain the pace of the practicing the problems and uh, uh, the quality there was no compromise on the quality of the questions that was also a good point about the ace test series okay brijesh in yes test series we say we have so many types of tests are there topic wise tests are there subject wise tests are there and also full length mock tests are there. so many more than 100 tests are there yes, so in yes. your preparation how you used to schedule these exams sir i i started giving the tests uh, from november itself uh, not before that uh, firstly i uh, i targeted the to complete the subject wise test series Uh, and uh, after that uh, the combination of t- uh, two subjects uh, test series was also there then i uh, attempted those i wasn't able to complete all of those uh, tests but i also attempted all the mock tests that were from the uh, previous year uh, test series and this test series okay in this uh, mock test series uh, full length mock test series of as academy uh, where you used to stand rank wise mr brijesh but i do not remember the uh, exact rank but uh, i secured uh, i secured uh, marks between 60 to 70% okay. on an good. average good good okay what was your strategy one week or uh, 10 days before the actual examination sir uh, just a uh, week before examination uh, we shouldn't be preparing so rigorously that uh, we exhaust ourselves uh, so that we perform poorly in the exam uh, secondly uh, we i used to uh, revise some of the concepts so that i do, do not lose the touch of the subject itself uh, but i do not uh, did not did it rigorously, rigorously yes, so that uh, performance in exam cannot be affected that so is that is not advisable also just before that one week before examination if you make yes, a rigorous sir. preparation it may cause some negative effect also you have to yes, be cool sir. and composed right yes. just you have to spend only on the revision work right good yes, and then on the day of examination on the day of examination yes, uh, let me know first of all when did you have this uh, es paper and when did you have the civil engineering paper sir uh, es paper was on 6th of feb and uh, as far as i remember and uh, uh, the civil engineering paper was one week after that acha you had one week gap between these two tests right uh, that is the one advantage okay fine Uh, uh, did you make any specific strategy on the day of examination of this two? I mean, regarding the sequence, what to attempt first, what not to attempt, what uh, you have to attempt next, like that. Sir, I didn't. Uh, sir, there uh, I used to attempt the technical section first before, uh, and the uh, non-technical part I used to attempt at the last. Uh, that was the only strategy. Rest I didn't go for the. Uh, specific details like attempting sec two marker questions 
first or one marker first rest the i i went with the flow of the paper acha that's fine no while attempting this question there may be some questions which are very tough and which are not known to you yes in such case what was your approach sir uh, i used to uh, spend two or three minutes on a particular question if that question uh, i didn't uh, get a clue on how to approach that question further i used to skip that question and uh, move on to the next question and uh, uh, at the end if the time was available then i used to attempt that question otherwise uh, it would consume more of the time and uh, the questions at uh, the end of the paper could not be attempted okay could you solve I mean was the time sufficient for you in the examination yes sir time was okay but uh, uh, bridges uh, see you have seen the two papers right environmental science paper you have seen and a civil paper also you have seen and also you had masters in environmental engineering what is your advice for the other aspirants do you suggest them to take both es and uh, civil engineering papers or only one is sufficient so it depends on the matter of interest i had interest my inter, my interest in environmental engineering itself so i uh, there were also some combinations available with civil engineering but i went with environmental engineering because i had interest in this uh, particular subject and uh, if uh, other uh, other candidates also are interested in uh, appearing for the subject of their choice they can choose to appear in environmental engineering paper right that is student specific point okay yes. and uh, moreover uh, brijesh from your experience uh, do you want to give any tips to the aspirants of the gate examination because you got a uh, second rank in the es paper and 149 in the spring paper do you want to make any specific uh, what you call the tips etc for the aspirants of the examination sir firstly i believe that uh, as the uh, as gate paper is evolving in itself uh, we need to cover the entire syllabus like earlier it used to be the problems from specific uh, particular topics that they used to ask more questions but now they are even touching upon the small topics that were earlier not touched that much so uh, in co covering the entire syllabus is quite important uh, now as of now for appearing for the gate examination and uh, uh, consistency is the primarily the key that uh, helps to ace the examination yes the aspirants of the gate examination you must understand this point covering the entire syllabus and particularly you may have to focus some of those uh, untapped areas right those yes. areas are being touched nowadays now and then uh, and then also you said that consistency also uh, uh, very important in the preparation uh, that's fine uh, brijesh uh so you said that your goal is uh, trying some psc jobs isn't it yes sir yeah right uh, thank you uh, prajesh for sharing your valuable tips through this uh, interview i think uh, the juniors of you who watch this video will get a definitely benefit out of this interview and also we wish you good luck in all your future attempts and thank you for sharing your thoughts with us and once again thank you sir congratulations to you prajesh thank you sir thank you